Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Today's Thursday, October 1st, 2020. This is video number 45. My videos are about cross stitching primarily. Sometimes I talk about punch needle or other crafts like crochet, but today it's all about cross stitch. So thank you for joining me. And for those returning, I so appreciate you guys watching. I kind of disappeared for about three weeks to four weeks. My shepherd, as you guys know, has made an appearance in previous videos, Monkey. He was readmitted back into the hospital for 11 days. And it was such a stressful time. We weren't sure if he was gonna pull out of it because he was really sick. His stomach shut down, it would not work. Long story short, it's he they determined through an endoscopy that it is a food allergy and it was irritable bowel syndrome so no cancer he's completely cancer free he's home the stomach's working fine everything's great again we are so so happy i'll include some pictures of him coming home and being at home at the end of the video if you're interested but things are great we're happy and um cross stitching again i did a little bit while he was in the hospital but we went back and forth visiting and um, I didn't get a lot of time you know when things are on your mind too that you just kind of I just took a little bit of a break from YouTube so I'm back things are great again and all is going well with my family I hope it's going well with yours as well so let's talk about cross stitch news my videos are normally about I love talking about everybody else I love talking about designers and charts and cross stitch information I do show my own whips. I'll show those in just a little bit. I did participate in Sampler September. I got a lot of progress done before he went into the hospital. <laughs> so I'll show you some of those. My, I did have a special video last time. It was a stitch with me. That was a lot of fun. I got a lot of great feedback. I appreciate that. There's a lot of people out there that don't have anyone to stitch with. So m by me making the videos, the stitch with me's, I will continue to do them again because I had so many responses from people that enjoyed having me stitch with them. And I don't really have, I have my friend Jean and I have a new friend named Cheryl that I could get together with, but with everything going on, we haven't been able to get together and stitch. So it is nice turning on the TV, sitting with someone and stitching with them. I hope you all felt that way, that you had a friend to stitch with during the stitch with me that I've I um, filmed three weeks ago, I think it was. Then before that, I had another special. It was on samplers. My videos about cross stitch are about everything. It's There is no certain topic. It's about variety. It's for everyone. But I do from time to time have specials like samplers, or I do plan on having more stitch with me's and another sampler video coming up later in the week. Let's talk about Modern Folk Embroidery's charity pattern that he posted just a few days ago. It's called the Zimmerman Coverlet, a Canadian heirloom. All pro proceeds go to the Red Door Family Shelter in Toronto. It's a wonderful cause. Um, I showed a picture just a few minutes ago. It's a beautiful chart. And again, it is located on the Modern Folk Embroidery dot com, I believe it is. I'll link the I'll link it below. And all the proceeds go to the family shelter in Toronto. It's a wonderful cross-stitch pattern and cause. Modern Folk Embroidery also released a new release called Ada Lillian Baldwin 1885. Beautiful. It's not too big. And it's just a real pretty sampler that I wanted to show while I was talking about Modern Folk Embroidery. We are doing, in Stitchy 911, in my group, we are doing... A stitch along it is called the autumn alphabet i have the chart here it is by willow hill samplings on etsy i think they have a website too let's see yep willow hill samplings.net so this is the chart this pumpkin is a lot more blue in some other people's picture. And it's the most beautiful blue pumpkin. So we're doing a stitch along if you're interested in joining Stitching 911, the number's 911 on Facebook. So this is a really cute pattern. They do have an Etsy shop. And the designers were so sweet. They messaged me and asked if it would be okay if they posted in the group that and offered to the group members 25% off their order. 
because as a thank you for all of us doing the stitch along. Some are doing it, some aren't, you don't have to. But I thought that was really nice of them to offer 25% off. And the coupon code at the very end is stitch number 911. So if you're interested, take a look at their Etsy shop. It is Willow Hill Samplings. This is Autumn Alphabet. And again, they do have a website, willowhillsamplings.net. And they did post that you enter the code on the very last screen. I think they meant on the website. So if you don't see the discount of 25% on the Etsy shop, try the website. And they have a lot of cute patterns, beautiful patterns. And a huge thank you to them. That was really sweet of them to do that for us. This special will go on until the end of October 2020. <clears throat> that is really cool. Okay, let's talk about hands-on design. They offered a complimentary chart, which I'll show here. It's called Surrender the Treats. It is free. They uh, Kathy posted it in her, her, is it monthly, her handout that she emails. I will try and put the link below so you can just click it and go straight to it. If you have trouble finding it, because not everybody subscribes to the emails, check out their Facebook page because I did see it on their Facebook page. I believe I saw it on the Instagram page as to how to go about getting the free chart, Surrender the Treats. Another free chart I wanted to tell you about is a double-sided ornament of the Grinch. It is a free chart from Brooks Books. And I'll link that below also with the website. They did mention go into the freebie area. It is freebie number three. And I remember they've got like one, two, and three. Sometimes I have heard it's a little hard to find. I haven't had a problem, but they did say that they put it in freebie number three. If you go to Brooks Books, and I'll put the website below, the Grinch is a double-sided ornament that is complimentary. So thank you. That is so cool and very, very cute. For those who like, Country Cottage Needleworks is re-releasing sweet treats. Here's a picture. The chart sold as one entire design and the buttons are not included. So they, they do sell the buttons separately. It says all information is on their website under chart packs page. So check it out. Very, very cute. Country Cottage Needleworks. Hands Across the Sea. I happen to be watching Nicola's video from last week. She released a beautiful one. It's just gorgeous. I have it here. Here it is. It is Anna Sophia Burcham 1871. Now here's the great thing about it. I'm going to show a picture because my... Well, actually, the printed picture isn't that bad. That actually came out really good for my printer. Biscuit, gorgeous peacocks. I just think this is so beautiful. And here's the kicker. It's a PDF. Now, <clears throat> I'm starting to get more and more into PDFs. I wasn't only because I don't want to use my own computer ink. <laughs> now that I'm part of an ink club and they mail it to me every month, I'm fine with it. But this chart... What's so great about it, it's part of the Little Gems series, which are all PDF. And I think that's just amazing because you could just go in there and get your chart right away. And I'm really starting to get into PDFs more and more. I think this is just absolutely beautiful. And again, you go into the section on the website, Little Gems PDFs. And this again is called Anna Sophia Burcham, 1871. It's the colors that I like so much. This this uh, flower pot here, the bee scab, and the, the peacocks. It's just gorgeous. So this was a Norfolk sampler, Hands Across the Sea, series of little gems. It's on their website. Something else I was going to mention with Hands Across the Sea, she was mentioning on her website that someone wrote in and asked that they would love to do a chart on Ada. So they were so kind, they changed one of their charts around a little bit and made it to where someone stitching on Ada would be able to do it. It's called Eliza Johnson and it's available in PDF. I was not able to find it on the website, but I believe she said to send them an email. If you're interested in stitching Eliza Johnson 
on Ada, they can help you out with this. And they can get you the chart. She also mentioned if you have previously bought the hard copy booklet, that you could email Nicola and show proof that you bought it, of course, and they will get you that PDF if you decide, you know, I really don't want to stitch this on linen, I'd rather stitch it on Ada. They're there to help you. I think that's amazing. I love that. Recently had somebody ask me if it would be possible to stitch. I think it was Consider the Lilies. So I went through my chart and I looked. I didn't see any over one unless I missed a very small part. That's another one that looks like you can stitch on Ada. There's lots of them. And there are, you know, different ways. It's just the over one, which is normally the wording on a sampler. If you happen to see a sampler like this, I'm just using this as an example. Sometimes the verses and the wording, most of this is designed to be stitched on linen over two holes or over two threads. And when you get to this part here, you're stitching it just over one tiny, tiny little thread. That's where you run into a problem with Ada. Sometimes you would have to split that one little square and it might look a little wonky, you know, like might look a little crooked. So some charts you definitely can stitch on Ada. And I had someone ask me if I knew if Consider the Lilies could be stitched and it sure looked like it could to me. I went through my whole chart and I did not see any over one stitching. So I was really happy about that. That's really neat. And I love that they, that Hands Across the Sea did that for her. Very, very cool. I had a special sampler video three or four weeks ago. It was a lot of fun. I got a great response. I showed so many charts from the sampler company, Brenda Keys. Everybody seemed to really like that video. Well, during that video, I had giveaways. There were two of them and I have two winners. I'm sorry you had to wait so long. <laughs> Some of you guys wanna stitch these charts. <laughs> So my first giveaway was a part of Anne Dale. Now this chart is a, a bottom portion of the original chart. This is not the entire chart. It is a portion, a part of Anne Dale by Shakespeare's Peddler. So it was re released not long ago, the entire chart of Anne Dale. This is the bottom portion. And the winner of this chart is Patty Spencer. Patty says that she always has a red sampler going on because Laura from Brenda and Laura said so. <laughs> I think that's brilliant, Patty. So congratulations. Get a hold of me, Patty, at Stacer5, S T A C E R number five at AOL.com and I'll mail you your chart. This is really beautiful. I think it's the most, pr the prettiest part of the whole chart. And again, it's the part of Andale. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Number two's giveaway was Teresa Kogut's Land That I Love. And this was this is just a really popular one right now. The winner of Teresa Kogut is Karen R. Now, Karen, I noticed that your YouTube says Karen R, but on your comment, you put Karen Bridget. Either way, you're the winner. Congratulations. Contact me via email. You won Teresa Kogut's chart. Karen says that she's really into Riflet de Soie and has never stitched a Teresa Kogut before. So this is perfect. It's your chart now. <laughs> Congratulations, Ka uh, Patty and Karen. Let's talk about mail I've, and some stash. So this is going to be my stash haul section. I have received some wonderful mail from some people that just uh, thinking of me, you guys, has just been awesome. Thank you for your cards. I got one from Janet Jabber, a thank you card. I had sent her some floss because everybody needs just a little floss in their life to brighten the day. <laughs> My friend Kim sent me a wonderful card. She knew I was a little bit down. She's a good friend of mine now. We, I love talking to her. And she knew that I was a little down because of monkey and worried. So she sent me some gorgeous floss. This floss, look at how shiny it is. It's DMC. It's so beautiful. It is 310. It's actually 30310. And it's a shiny DMC rayon floss. 
And this color here is 30336. These are beautiful. Thank you so much, Kim. Look at these colors. I love how shiny they are. They would give a little extra, I don't wanna say bling, but kind of like bling. They're gorgeous. Kim, you made my day. You are my friend. I appreciate your messages so much. Next up, we have my friend Becky. Becky is a floss tuber. Her name is Becky Crafty Mama. Becky's in Colorado and she sent me fabric. In fact, I meant to get my white board. Let me grab the board real quick. She sent me some fabric. Thank you so much, Becky. This one is called Toast by Bee Stitch Me. It is 40 count Verdell. Someone just asked me about Verdell the other day and I'd never stitched on it before. So this is called Toast. Isn't that pretty? I've never stitched with Bee Stitch Me before. I've tried to order like the, the Friday night fight nights that they have on her Facebook group. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that fabric goes fast. So this one's called Toast. And I'm so thrilled because I've never had Bee Stitch Me before. 40 count Verdal, or Verdell. She also sent me 32 count Legacy. Legacy's beautiful. She knows I love 32 count. Isn't that a pretty fabric? She also sent me 30 count Parisian Gray Legacy. Look at that. Beautiful color. I'm always looking for a good gray. That's really pretty. I don't know who it's by. The sticker says FBR. I'm not sure, but so pretty. Thank you, Becky. And again, her floss tube is Becky Crafty Mama. Check her out. She's another friend of mine. She is uh, a wonderful, wonderful person. Then we have a new chart that Carol sent me. Thank you so much, Carol. This was so nice of her. She stitched this. She watched the last sampler video and saw that I didn't have this particular chart from the sampler company. And this particular one is called Townhouse Sampler. Isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty. Thank you so much, Carol. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. Beautiful. So now I have one more for my collection. The next bit of mail that I got is, oh my gosh. So again, I had mentioned on one of my sampler videos, look at this card, isn't that beautiful? Look at that stitching, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. And on the back of the cards from hands, these are from hands across the sea. There's a chart, I can't show it too long, I don't think. But isn't that, what a beautiful card. Sarah Borton, 1815, that's the name of this chart. Sarah Borton. And anyway, Rayleigh was watching my video and I happened to be talking about Eileen Bennett. And she sent me three charts. I can hardly believe it. She sent me the homecoming sampler. Look at all these animals. This is gonna get stitched because you guys know how much I love animals. Look at that little elephant. Isn't he cute? Oh, there's one up here too. This is called the homecoming sampler Eileen Bennett of the sampler house. The next one she sent was white blossom sampler. Isn't that pretty? And the last one she sent, Williamsburg Christmas Ornaments. These are so pretty. I'm really into the small ornaments, especially like prairie schoolers. I wanna do some small minis for the Halloween. I'm gonna display Halloween in a couple weeks. And I think that would be so neat to have <clears throat> some Halloween little mini pillows little mini ornaments for my tree. I think I only have like one or two or three mini ornaments for my tree. So Rayleigh, thank you so, so much. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate this. Next bit of haul. 
is from Davina, my friend, my sweet, sweet friend Davina. She also has a floss tube. Hold on one second, I wanna make sure. I went and dropped something on the floor yesterday or a couple days ago and my sweet friend sent me something. I had dropped part of it on the floor and I didn't see it until last night. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Wait till you see what Davina sent. A beautiful card. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Davina's Etsy. I want to make sure, not Etsy. Uh, YouTube channel is Little Workroom Crafts. I want to make sure I got it right. I watch all her videos. And for some reason, I keep wanting to say something else. <laughs> Little Workroom Crafts. She's located in the UK and her name is Davina. So she sent me this beautiful card. Isn't that beautiful? A bookmark of the town that she, a famous area that she lives in, this, this mill. She sent me a Mirabilia. Isn't she beautiful? She sent... This is neat. She has a card. Davina Langford Podcast. She's on Instagram and Facebook. There's her card. She sent me a, a paper pad with dogs. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I love it. Love, love. A lavender and lace. Isn't she beautiful? Lavender and lace told in a garden. Ivy wed. That's gorgeous. And the last one that she sent is also by Lavender and Lace. This is called Morning Song. That is just gorgeous. Davina, you are awesome. Thank you so much. You made my whole day. You don't even realize. So excited to get her package. Another bit of haul that I got is from my sweet friend, Inji, in the Netherlands. I got to meet Inji and her daughter at Dutch Mania last October, and she sent me the sweetest gift. She sent me Dark Shadows by Sue Hillis Designs. Look at that. Again, remember I was just talking about minis for my tree, and this is perfect. You're not gonna believe it, she sent me the fabric as well. So again, Sue Hillis, Dark Shadows. And she sent a card, wonderful card, and a note, and all of her daughters signed it. Isn't that beautiful? Look at how sparkly it is. Her daughter signed it. She sent me a thread holder. These are awesome because I've, I don't have one of these. You can put your thread in here, especially like me. I like to wind them sometimes on bobbins. Sometimes I put them on thread keeps. Sometimes I wind them up and put them in, in, um, in bobbins and they would fit perfect in here. And look at the back, yes. I saw a video yesterday on Facebook, somewhere in Texas, they had like a crow, what's the word? Um, there were billions of crows, every, millions of crows everywhere. I would be in heaven. I would have known I died and went to heaven if I had that many crows surrounding me. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Inji, so much. This is beautiful. She sent me a little thing that says fur mom, a little paper clip. Look at this, a little German shepherd. <laughs> so cute. It's also a paper clip. And she sent me the fabric. So check this out. How perfect is this fabric for these designs? I think I want to do this one first with the bat or this one with the crows. One of these two. Maybe this one. Anyway, per perfect purple fabric. Inji, you made you. You guys don't even realize this came at a particularly rough day for me and I, cause I was stressed and it just really made me happy. Thank you so much. Okay, the next bit of mail that I got are some wonderful cross stitch charts, cross wing collection from Patty. And I, I'll show these, these are just, she knew I liked birds and animals. I do love stitching birds. So the first one I'm gonna show is Western Tanager by the Cricut Collection. 
cross wing, no wait, let's see, cross wing collection. The next one is Animal Kingdom. This is what I have my eye on right here. I think that would be so pretty. Animal Kingdom. That's actually by American School of Needlework. Here's another one, the Cricut Collection, Autumn Color. That teapot's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Nature's Companions, Stony Creek Collection for eagles, eagle lovers. I love eagles. I actually follow them live on a live cam in Florida, Fort Myers, Florida. Dimensions Walk Beside Me. This blue in the, in the chart is really pretty. I like that nest too. Images of a Summer Breeze. Seashells, seagulls, pretty. Songbirds, lots of birds. I love birds, I like that cardinal. And I like the ones on the back. Hopefully you can see them. This one's called Songbirds. It is by Leisure Arts. I love Leisure Arts. A couple more, Shorebirds. Really pretty. If you had like a beach scene, like say you did decorated mini tree, you could do it as a beach scene. Have little ornaments of beach and then have the beach, you know, like beach things down here. Get some sand, put some seashells, build like candle and candles and that would be pretty. Paws and Claws by Stony Creek. Look at that German Shepherd. That is so cute by the mailbox. Isn't that me every day waiting for my deliveries to come in from 123 Stitch and all the, all the cross stitch shops? <laughs> okay, two more dogs. Lots and lots of dogs. I'm going to be looking for a, sh oh, there he is, the shepherd. Cute. And the last one, Crosswing Collection Feathered Gems. They're more hummingbirds. Or no, yeah, they are hummingbirds. Very cute. And this one was number four, Feathered Gems. Thank you so much. I appreciate this more than you even know. How exciting. I have not looked to see if I have any duplicates. If I do, I'll do them as a giveaway. I know I have some. I just don't know if they are the same. Look at this. Sandy made me a bag. I have looked everywhere in Etsy for a bag that would fit my punch needle hoop. I have a big one. This fits. I have finally found the perfect size project bag. Sandy, you, this is beautiful. Look at that. Oh my God. Look at that bag. The witch. And it's a big bag. Patty, thank you so much. Look at the back of it. And it's like quilted. It's a beautiful, beautiful bag. This is my fabric. <laughs> Gorgeous. But this bag, I just, it's the size. I, I love the fabric and it's the size that will, will fit that punch needle hoop that I've been. I, and I don't like that it's out. I'm afraid it's gonna get dusty. So now that's perfect. Thank you, thank you, Sandy. My friend Daylene, I was just telling you, got a package in the mail a few, about a week ago. And she knew I was having a rough time because Monkey was in the hospital. We weren't sure if he was gonna make it. And look what she made me. It's gorgeous. It is The Sewing Bird by Brenda Gervais. Isn't that beautiful? It's just gorgeous. And the smell, she always puts like lavender or a beautiful scent in the pillow. It's just gorgeous. I, I can't even tell you. Look at the strawberry. The little strawberry, so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh, she made my day. So again, this is by Brenda Gervais, and it's called The Sewing Bird. And look at his little needle in his mouth with the, with, see the floss at the top? Very, very cute. I'm trying to flatten it so you can see the design better. There we go. 
Thank you, Daylene. She has a floss tube. She is so SEW grateful. <clears throat> a very, very good friend and one of the sweetest friends I have. I love the, is this Rick Rack? I love that in the back. So anyway, this is just fantastic. She also sent me a thing of peach tea and this is what fell on the floor. I only just discovered it last night. Look at that crow. Isn't that gorgeous? I have it hanging on the light right in front of me. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much, Daylene. Gosh, you just made my whole day. Last but not least, we have a project bag that, again, I have never had one with a handle. And I cannot thank you enough, Dawn Marie. She made me a bag with a handle and it's big because one of the things I'm going to show you, Antrim's Folly is a big, big um, project and it doesn't fit in my little, in the smaller project bags. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? Let me show you the back. There's the handle. Dawn Marie has an Etsy shop. This is so pretty. I love this bag so much gorgeous. Dawn Marie's Etsy shop is DMS Crafty Vortex on Etsy. Check her out. Like I said, the bags are beautiful. They're a great size. She also made me a needle book with a little needle minder inside. Here's the book. A little needle minder. Homemade for you. And this is the needle book. Isn't this great? Thank you so much, Dawn Marie. I can't even tell you. It makes me so happy. Okay. Oh my God, I'm running out of time. <laughs> I'm going to show progress really quick on what I've been working on. I worked on Antrim's Folly for uh, Sampler September. This is available through Teresa Baird. You have to email her on your own. It's not going to be found in Etsy shops or LNSs. This is actually through Teresa. She is Heart's Ease Exemplar Works. That's the name of the company. So what I did down here is I'm working on this border. It says Burlington County, comma, New Jersey. That's what I worked on. Here's my progress. It, this is such a pretty fabric. I think it's by R&R, and &R, I don't remember which one. I will put Teresa's email below because I've had a lot of people ask me how to go about ordering. How do you order Antrim's Folly? And I will put that information below. Next up, we have Heaven and Nature. Beautiful, beautiful chart by Teresa Kogut. This is on Dusty Road, I believe, by Seraphim Fabrics, 32 count. And my progress, I added the bird with the tail on the far right and that flowered pot. That's my progress. This is a fun one. I read, this is one of my favorites. Okay. Next, we have Mary 395 by Hands Across the Sea, another favorite. I got the top two letters done, or the top two lines. There is a lot of stitching in those letters, I tell you what. I thought, oh, I'll get those done quick. Oh my gosh, it took me days. Mary 395 is Belle Swa Cranberry Floss, and that's the progress on Mary 395 by Hands Across the Sea. Those letters, like I said, are crazy. <laughs> so as I was stitching, I noticed that it jumps from, it goes E, F, G, H, J, K. There's no I. And from what I found out is that the I and the J were, what's the word? They didn't always use them, like they left it out. So that's why they don't line up because she did not include an I in her sampler. So part of me thought, do I find a fancy I and include it so that way 
the end of the sampler lines up really nice? Or do I stitch it just as Mary did and leave out the eye? So I chose to do it the way she did because I want it to be exactly the same as how she did it. Next up, we have Hoity Toity, which is by Long Dog Samplers. This is a Stitch Along with Debbie from Creatively Yours. Hi, Debbie. <laughs> it is stitched on Legacy, I believe. Not much progress because I tell you what, these color changes are crazy, crazy color changes. These are hours of progress, if you can believe that. Beautiful, beautiful colors. This is the chart. I should have probably showed you that first. I'm doing up in here. So the color changes are just something else and they take a lot of time. So progress on this is very slow, but that's pretty. And I believe this is, I don't remember what the fabric is. I'm using Mrs. Seda silks. Really pretty colors. This green is really pretty. There we go, get an idea. I wish I could remember, I think it's legacy fabric or legacy by picture this plus, something like that. I have two more that I worked on. One is a new start. This is progress on Brenda Keys, the sampler company. I went to church sampler. This is a stitch along with my friend Becca. She's also a floss tuber and she is on uh, My Stitchy Home. She's taken a little break from floss tube because she's just recently moved and got settled into her new home. And my progress on this, excuse the floss, is here. This stitch along, is called the Roving Eye Sampler. Sti no, the Roving Eye Sal on Instagram. And because of the words, I went to church on Sunday, my love, she passed me by. I knew her mind was changing by the roving of her eye. So we have called it the Roving Eye Sal. It's so much fun and it moves fast and I love it. This one? Reflet de Soie, Yvonne Leclerc, 1905. I'm starting up in here with the parrot. Gorgeous. This is another slow moving one with lots of color changes. The fabric is beautiful. I'll have to tell you what it is later because I can't remember. But hold on. Lots of color changes. Sorry, it's so wrinkly. I forgot to iron this one. Normally I iron my stuff. So that's my progress on Yvonne Leclerc. So there it is right there. You can kind of see the top left. So wrinkly. This is a fun one. It's gonna be really beautiful once those pinks start coming out. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And my very last one is a new start. This is a stitch along with Michelle McGraw who has a floss tube made by Michelle McGraw. I've only just barely started it. It is by Bothy Threads, the, nut, the Christmas Nutcracker by Bothy Threads. How beautiful. That's what drew me are these bright, bright colors. So I started in the middle, which is unusual for me. Normally I start in the top left and we have ourselves a nutcracker there's his body so this is a really this is a fun one and this is called the nutcracker cell on instagram and again this is with michelle mcgraw you want to see hers totally different and beautiful i love it i'm going to stick with what uh, is called for and that's it. That is it. Okay, guys, let's celebrate one year on floss tube with some giveaways. Now you're going to need a pen and a paper because there's a lot of them. 
before I do giveaways, I just want to say real quick, um, October plans for me are some finishes. I'm going to work on some Stitch Mania finishes. I am, I am very close on about three of them. And those are going to get done this month. I'm going to focus on autumn and Halloween. October 1st, I start a new one. Here I am talking about reducing my whips. I am starting with Debbie from Creatively Yours. And on October 1st, I am starting Snooty Parrots by Barbara Anna Designs. I'm using DMC. Debbie's going to use Mrs. Seda Silks. We're also stitching with our friend Alice. Hi, Alice. <laughs> and it's beautiful. Look at that parrot. Doesn't he look snooty? I think he does. <laughs> so this is starting October 1st. I don't know what the stitch along um, hashtag is yet. So that's a start. And that's it. Oh, I'm going to work on this one. Another goal for October is Autumn Quakers by Rosewood Manor. Autumn Quakers. My Progress. This is on Vintage Country Mocha, one of my favorite fabrics. I believe it's 32 count. And this is my progress on that. Isn't that beautiful? Those fabrics, I mean, uh, the flosses are Valdani threads. Took some getting used to at first using them. And that's another focus piece that I will be doing in October. So that's it. Let's do some giveaways to celebrate one year on Floss Tube. Yay! Here's to another year. I'm just going to grab some because you should see what one of the viewers made you guys as giveaways for the one year anniversary. It's just incredible. I'm going to show you real quick what mine look like. She made me six project bags. You just, I just can't believe it to celebrate my one year. I just can't believe it, you guys. When I got this package in the mail, I couldn't believe it. Diane sent me a card and she made us six project bags. Two I kept, she said I could keep a couple. And she made us, you guys, four. Look at this. Isn't that fabric gorgeous? Look at that pumpkin. And here's the front of it. This is the one I'm keeping. I just wanted to show you guys what she made. How gorgeous. She also uh, made a floss keeper. So as you're stitching and you get the, you cut off your floss, the little ends, you can stick them on here and they stick. And that way you can keep, just keep them nice. And you can also stick your needle on here. I do that. I just go in between the fabric and stick my needles in here with my floss. So she made a coordinating floss keeper for you guys. So this one was mine. This is the second one she made me. Isn't that awesome? And then I'll show you the rest in the giveaways for you guys. So grab a pen paper, <clears throat> we're ready to go. Number one giveaway as a thank you guys for sticking with me, watching my videos and becoming my friend. Number one, Calvin and Clyde by Stitching with the Housewives. Giveaway number one. What I want you to do, instead of putting the number one, go ahead and just put you're interested in Calvin and Clyde. Don't say the word giveaway. Whatever you do in any of your comments, don't put giveaway. Just say, I'm interested in Calvin and Clyde. I'll be searching for probably Calvin. So giveaway number one, Calvin and Clyde. Giveaway number two, Stitching with the Housewives, we have Clovis and Stanley. If you're interested in this, you can put in for all of everything if you want. If you don't have to just pick one thing to put in for. This is number two. Giveaway number three is a red pack of floss. You have five different colors of DMC plus one silk. Classic Colorworks Belsois Tulip. This is going to be the next one. So you're going to put red floss or red packet. Or you can put number three if you want to. I'll know which one it is. So this is giveaway number three. You know what? I think it would be easier. Let's do it by numbers. Sorry about that. Let's do, if you're interested, just start putting numbers down of what you're interested in. So Calvin and Clyde is one. 
two, three. Next we have number four is 28 Count Mesa by Picture This Plus. It is like a orangey color, 28 count. It's a good piece of fabric, it's a good size. 18 by 27. So if you're interested in this fabric, giveaway number four. Four. Number five is green floss. We have five DMCs of green, one classic color works in fancy green Nancy. That's what it's called. So green is number five. Number six is blue. It's hard to see, but you've got five DMCs and one classic color works. If you're interested in the package, that's gonna be number six. Okay, number six is blue. Number seven, we've got something for 40 count lovers. Number seven is vellum. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. I don't know what I do with my whiteboard, but you kind of get the idea. 40 count vellum came from Kitten Stitcher. This is number seven. Number eight, Madame Chantilly Summer. Number eight. Now, when you receive this, I put this in an envelope because one, two, three stitch sent it to me just as a paper is sent it to me like, you know, just plain with no cover like this. They just sent it to me. So I'm going to put it in an envelope for you guys, but it's a brand new chart. It is Summer by Madame Chantilly. That is number eight. Okay. Number nine. 16 count mountain air dreams of spring 16 count that's number nine beautiful fabric purple dreams of spring mountain air 16 count really pretty okay we have one more 16 count legacy this is a smaller piece 12 by 17 legacy is another really pretty one there it is this is going to be giveaway number 10, Legacy, 16 count. Okay, now we've got project bags, and they are fantastic. Da um, Diane made all these bags, especially for the giveaway for my anniversary. So you guys, Diane, I can't even say thank you enough. Six bags she made, two for me I kept. I just can't even, so... Project bags is going to be number 11. You all you will also get the thread keeper inside. So this is number 11. Gorgeous. Again, there's the thread keeper. It's going to go inside. Number 12. Look at that fabric. It's a little bit different. 12. There's your floss keep 13 and 14 this is 13 let me take this out so you can see the fabric 13 look at that and here's your floss keep 13 and last but not least we have number 14 little bit smaller beautiful beautiful number 14 giveaway this is yours and it goes inside okay you guys that's it we've got 13 no 14 <laughs> 13 12 11, 10, 16 count legacy, 9 is 16 count, 
8, Madame Chantilly Summer. 7, 40 Count Vellum. 6, Blue Floss. 5 is Green. 4, Three, red, two, and one. Oops, <laughs> one. That's it, you guys. That's the giveaways for the one year anniversary floss tube. Thank you guys for sticking with me and for watching. I appreciate it. It has been a fun, fun year. I've met so many wonderful people. I can't thank you guys enough. I'm going to include... Um, I decided to go ahead and cut this video now so it's, so it's not so long and I'll do new releases on the next video. Next video I believe is going to be samplers. So I will include the new releases of samplers on that video. Um, let's see what else do I want to say. I'll include some pictures of Monkey at the end of this video coming up in a few minutes. Follow me on Instagram. I am 911stitcher and it's all letters, all spelled out. Facebook group is Stitching 911. 911 are the numbers. It's a lot of fun. Everyone is welcome. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you shortly. I'll see you probably next week. Bye, guys.